Hey, fancy football players, it's Juju Tosh Sports, and I'm here to tell you a new segment. Not Star Fit, I'm here to tell you which players have some good juju. Which players have some bad juju? Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby! Don't you put that on us! Listen, hashtag bust the slump, and let's get that dub together. Enjoy. Hey, slump busters. Two more weeks. Two more weeks is what this fantasy season has come to. And you guys need some good vibes on your side. You guys need some good juju on your side. And you're only going to get this if you like, comment, and subscribe. I am telling you, that is the way to do it. And you know what? It's because of your host here, Juju Talk Sports, joined by Drew Hagenbaugh, that we're going to get you that fantasy title. We're going to do this for you, folks, because we're all love on the Slump Buster podcast. Some stuff that we don't love, guys that have some bad juju. And Drew is going to be the one to start it off. I hate to start off with this man because he's been so good all season long, but it's Dalvin Cook of the Minnesota Vikings playing the good old Chicago Bears. And honestly, his first game against Chicago, it was not the greatest. They stopped the run. They held Dalvin Cook to under 100 yards, which is almost a rarity in the NFL against Dalvin Cook. That defense is no joke we all know it's not a joke we can see the minnesota vikings struggling a little bit against that defense and dalvin cook is going to have and i mean he had 30 carries too and still didn't get 100 yards what if he gets another 30 carries can he break that 100 yards it's going to be tough well you mentioned the bears defense is no joke you know what is a joke though the dallas cowboys try and prevent running backs from ending up in the end zone And that is why I'm going to say the San Francisco 49ers backfield. Yes, they're backfield. I'm talking about Jeff Wilson Jr. and Raheem Mostert are both going to have solid fantasy days. And I have a lot of good juju on their side. I mean, hell, I'm in the stands for this game. So they have plenty of good juju in the stadium. Raheem Mostert, Jeff Wilson Jr., put them in your lineup. Let's get back to the bad, though. You got a man with three letters to talk about. Oh, yeah. We got C-E-H. Clyde Edwards Hilaire and the reason why he's some bad juju is that the Kansas City Chiefs are going up against a very very good run defense in the New Orleans Saints don't don't get me wrong great rookie great running back fantastic player but a rookie against one of the best running defenses in the NFL I don't know if it's going to happen and plus I feel like Pat Mahomes is going to be very pass heavy in this game it's going to be a shootout it seems like Okay, well, we're going to finish it with with some love. We're going to finish it again on a positive note. And that is why I'm going to also, a little bit of a cheat here, but I'm going to talk about the Ravens backfield has some good juju on it. Yes, I'm talking about Gus Edwards. Yes, I'm talking about J.K. Dobbins. Not as I am Mark Ingram, but at least the first two, I think will be able to be usable in your fantasy lineup heading into a matchup against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yes, Jags is not just a term for Jaguars it is also just a guy and that is what you can refer to a lot of guys on the Jacksonville Jaguars defense especially as they are one and 12 at this point in season one and 13 one of those either way they have one win and J.K. Dobbins Gus Edwards they're going to drive that bus home land in the end zone a couple times and you are going to be happy if you have them in your lineups but you know what will make you more happy if you're subscribed to our channel so go ahead press that button hit that like Comment below if you have a fantasy question and Juju, Drew, we'll be happy to answer for you and we'll be happy to get you to the next round of your fantasy football championship. We'll see you on the next one.